game. You look as if you're going to win it at 10 v 10, and then El Haj just gets sent off. Yeah, um, what can I say? The first, uh, there was nothing in the game, and no. then they scored out of nothing. And, uh, it was a mistake, and they scored. And then I thought we um, we we did really well with ten men, and you know this is Brighton is supposed to be the best passing side in the division. I thought we uh, held our own with the ball. Um, we were right in it, and um, when we got back to um, to one all, I thought there's only one winner, and then yeah. you know Jufi for whatever reason. And uh, you know this is a something in, he's done in, in his career. He, yeah. You know he needs to to look at himself. I've had a conversation. Um, gets himself sent off. And that's the type of thing, Brian. You know, it frustrates managers because let's let's be honest, he was playing terrific as well. You know, Eddie, I've just had a conversation with uh, with Juve, yeah. and um, I said to him, you know, you were the difference. You were outstanding. You've played outstandingly well for me. Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden you've made a, a choice, you know, and, and he said that the Brighton fans had a go at him at Brighton and here, and, uh, and you know as well as I do, that that's irrelevant. Yes. You know, people have a go at me every week, you know, it's it, it's irrelevant, you, yeah. you have to get on. The only way that you can ever, um, you can ever, you can never do anything, you score a goal and then get another goal, and, and that's how you answer and, supporters away supporters. And, uh, you know... It- you know, he's let down his teammates today who worked extremely hard for each other and you, playing well, and, and then he does that after having a terrific game and actually winning the penalty kick and scoring with it. Well, I just said to him, that's what breaks my heart, because he was outstanding. And, you know, all I can say is I just really hope that he learns from today. You know, we've had a conversation between the two of us, and I just want him to learn from today and and do his talking with the ball. And the thing about it, Brian, as you know, you miss him for the first two games of next season. Exactly what I've just told him. Yeah, I know. It's not just, it's not about today. It's, you know, our season's done. We know that. We've we've got two wins, and that's great. You don't want to lose games, but we know we have to build here. We know what we've got to do. We know it's a big job. We know we have to bring players in. We know all of that to add to what we've got. But there was a fantastic spirit out there today. And you look at those fans at the end. I mean, I, yeah. I, I was embarrassed. It was just, they were, it's embarrassing to walk round at the end and the fans were clapping us off the way they did. You know, I want to be walking around there with a trophy. Well, we were just saying that, you know, it'd be nice end of next season, Brian, to be walking around with 40,000 still on the ground and cheering, you know. A successful, a successful season. Well, but you, you, you must be proud of you know how they, how they responded the day to get down to ten men. Oh, absolutely, 100%. I was proud of uh, the way they responded. Um, but people have told me that, you, that this is um, that this this club's a difficult club to manage. I just I don't maybe I'm missing something. But those fans today were unbelievable. They got behind. They are just really. They just want to see their players give everything, and they, they've seen that today. You, you know, we couldn't fault the effort. Yeah. You know, a couple of things that have happened have been. You know, I mean, the, the first sending off is never a sending off. I've spoken to the referee. I understand what happened with Juve, and he yeah. sends him off. That's not a sending off, and, and we'll definitely appeal that. But those fans today were unbelievable. Yeah, but. You know, you're looking forward now to the Watford game and beyond that, Brian. It's the last home game finished now. A word for the supporters for the start of next season. Well, listen, all I'll say is, you know, I can't ask anything from the supporters. All I can ask is, all I can say is that, you know, we've got to, we have to be serious and we have to make sure that we're right, we're, we're fit, we're strong. You know, as a group, we need to make sure we're, we come back in the best condition that we possibly can. You know, we, we play our pre-season games and... Um, and the first game we're ready to play and uh, um, you know we give our all for this football club thanks very much Brian thank you very much thanks very much to Brian McDermott for joining us